Down here deep in the dock, you get a real sense of the sheer scale of this ship. At 65,000 tons, this is the largest warship ever built for the Royal Navy. And she stretches 280 meters all the way back there. Here at Rossi, they've had to extend the dock just to fit her in. And even now, you can see that it is still a very tight squeeze. When she's launched next year, they'll have to flood this dock and then pull her by tugs out into the North Sea. So it's not going to be a conventional launch as you'd have seen in the past. 3,000 compartments, uh, 65,000 tonnes. All told, we have, during the integration of the ship, to install 1.6 million metres of cable. Uh, all told for the ship, all up, there's about 3.5 million metres of cable. So it's a, a major challenge. Uh, and it keeps everyone busy. We've got a lot of skilled workforce here. We've got over 1,300 people on day shift supporting the project and around about 300 on, on night shift. So it's a, a huge labour challenge for us as well. This aircraft carrier has been built almost like a massive jigsaw puzzle. It's made up of 50 large sections, each of which has been built at one of six different shipyards around the UK and then floated here down the fourth estuary and assembled here in Rossai using the massive crane from which you're viewing me now. Now this huge space is the hangar that will house the aircraft aboard the Queen Elizabeth. They'll be taken from the hangar up onto the deck using a large lift that will hold two planes. Originally the plan was that this aircraft carrier could hold about 40 aircraft, but in reality it'll probably carry about a dozen.